Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CORV. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I, I like to do this time frame, I think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, so let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. When you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can stay up here above $3.60. Now with that being said, if the price falls below 360, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to actually stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view, that's where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet extremely effective way to judge the health of the move that right there being defined as quote unquote the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you gonna best visualize that? You know, that's what's being represented. Again, sure, staying above 360 would be awesome, but from the grand scheme of things, as long as the price stays above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are at, I'm gonna go ahead and split the difference and call it right up to around $4.15. I get it, the price did technically go up above that area, but there's also a couple instances where the price didn't quite go up that high. So like I said, I'm just trying to find kind of that common ground and split the difference there. But 415 will be public enemy number one going forward. All in all though, anyway, look at it. Very nice move today, great volume. Not just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. See. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.